Hello everyone, welcome to Rise of Patience. I am back with a standard one versus one and this is a ranked game between me and Helen. So let's begin. If anybody doesn't know, Helen is the number one ranked standard player right now and I am somewhere around 40th rank. Although I won't, I won't say the official rank matters a lot, it does not mean that there are 40 players better than me or it also doesn't mean that uh, Helen has never been beaten but these ranks are based on the ELO and so far Helen has the highest ELO so uh, I joined his game and I really wanted that extra ELO because we, we have a huge difference of ELO so if I won this game I would get a lot of ELO that would uh, plunge me at least five ranks so here we started with a random land map and since it's a ranked game, we were bound to have a small map instead of arena ranked. The ranked presets do not allow us to set in arena map. On one side, there's me with the Turks. And the, on the other side, there is Helen with Mongols. Now, right from the beginning, uh, I made a big mistake. I won't tell you what happened late in the game, but let's just say initially, um, Helen went with science and commerce and just out of habit because i'm i'm used to playing on sahara i researched science and civic so even though i'm not getting a city i still have a civic so that's a waste of 108 food in the beginning then both of us are bc scouting i have four villagers and a scout uh on scouting and Helen has one villager and two scouts. Helen has built a dock. He has started uh, sc scouting in the lake and he's also getting a market. He has a furs right here and wool, both of which are, fur, fur is really good for Mongols because Mongols uh, can, uh, can and mostly they will go on a heavy, uh, horse archer raid the moment they reach uh, classical age that's a typical way to play with mongols on my side i am a late i'm a little late for the dock uh, because i i could not get the second woodcutter camp because i spent my resources on the civic stupid me on my side i have got uh silver here silver is really really good so uh, it lets me age up faster than my uh cheaper than my opponent and I've got marbles. Well, marbles is a good rare depending on the situation. This might be, uh, I might be able to use this rare in this game because uh, it's a small map. We are not very close. So it's it's not really a big deal that I will get raided really much in this game. Or it, it won't be as easy to raid me or uh, attack me because uh, we are so far away. So, so far I have not discovered Helen and I have a really bad food income. And meanwhile, Helen has already clicked up to ancient age. He's got a almost perfect food and wood income. And this is where, this is where I sucked in the beginning of the match. I, I really did bad with the economy. I have a lake with three with three fishes but I still haven't uh, scouted it yet completely I built the dock late and and I see that Helen is already aged up while I am nowhere near aging and I don't even have a good gap uh, a good commerce income so far on the other side Helen is researching military he is getting the metal mine he has a nice wood camp set up right here and there comes the stable H Helen has also found out about salt and cotton both of these are awesome rares to have when you're going on an offense this gives you cheaper infantry this gives you faster production of infantry and horses meanwhile I know about the wool I still don't know about the furs right here I also have missed the salt here and look what else is here it's horses so this place right in between it's a heaven for anybody who wants to go on an, an offense there are three awesome 
offensive resor resources and controlling these can change the outcome of the game. I just researched military level 2 and I am expecting a raid from Helen. Even though he's far away, I'm still expecting it because that's the way Mongols usually go on a raid. Yeah, they, they, are, they are usually go on a raid. And on this side, Halen decides not to go from front because it's, it, it's a clever move because since Mongols always get free uh, horse archers whenever they age, uh, it's expected to see horse archers coming. So I could have a lot of light cavalry waiting for the Mongol horse archers to come up. So that's why he came from us from the side and that's a really clever move. And he has he has double stable here. He's also going for civic two. He'll get a city soon and that's a nice raid coming towards me. I only see a single cataphract so far. I have no idea about the two horse archers right there. I do have a better income. Oh, and I lose that horse. That that sucks. Meanwhile, those are wrecking havoc in my territory at the back. These are wrecking havoc in the center. It doesn't seem like it's working out for me so far. I am spamming light horses because that's all I can do. One mistake I made here, uh, right here, was to not go for military level 2. If I had gone military level 2, then I could also be making heavy cavalry or horse archers and that might be a, that might help me defend better. Another mistake I'm making right here is that I just lost this caravan and I also lost my light cavalry. Light cavalry are fast and it's expected that you should save your light ca light cavalry you should not let them die just like i let this one die as, as well so far i have let three light cavalries die uh not a good game and look at halen halen is absconding with his uh raiding units in the water because water is a perfect place to run away see i uh i cannot attack his units in water unless i have light ships I am using these three fishing poles. I think I this looks like a small lake, so I did not care to use it. But guess what? It's a three fishing ship and three fishes in this lake. I, I guess that's completely worth using. Meanwhile, Halen is still pumping out cavalry. He sees the horses. He sees the salt as well. And I am still being bombarded by raids. I don't have any way. I, I'm not in a condition to attack at least at this point. And another horse archer escapes. I have I have a, not, a good knowledge income right here because I already filled my library. Since Halen is making a lot of heavy cavalry and horse archers, he he of course does not have as good a knowledge income. Helen has also not yet researched the government. And finally since I have a senator now I can bribe one of those. Oh. And so it looks like things are cooling down for me. I'm in a better position but look at my eco it's it's completely damaged my wood is bad i am getting a tower right here i also had woodcutter i uh, have a woodcutter camp so i'm also low on wood i don't know why i chose to get wood there instead of this place this is be a four but i am not very lucky with wood in this game i've got a four to begin with then a five there comes more heavy cavalry And finally, I decide, yeah, I need the second military. I, I need to raid as well. So this should have come a lot earlier from me. I guess I was, I, I played a couple of Nomad games before that and I was in the booming mode. Never go light against a, a Mongol open. And Mongols are great at raiding. And look at that, that was, that was the uh, horse archer that he just saved from the water and he's bringing it back. 
and I just notice this after I lose one villager and almost another villager. Meanwhile, Helen has a nice economy here. He has got a plus 150. Mongols get uh, bonus food, food income from the amount of territory they control. So that's that's enough to get the food. He also has got a nice set plus seven wood camp here. He also started with a plus four. He has not scouted this part. Is there any good thing here? There's no rare on this side. And there's not a lot of rares on this side as well. I missed these two ruins. And that that almost that how a nomad is still able to escape. That, that's a great that's great play by Helen. He's taking use of his resources perfectly. He's not wasting his units. But remember, the Turks are expected to be slow in the beginning. Of course, I messed up in a lot of places, but Turks are normally expected to be uh, a little slower, at least slower than Mongols, because the Mongols are they they get a lot of freebies in the beginning, like the like the free horse archers, the cheaper cavalry, and the um, the extra food income from the knowledge. Now this is the time when I can bounce back. Uh, I can use my siege to do something good. And there, Helen has aged up. That age, uh, with that age up, I knew what what I should be expecting. A lot of more raids. Yeah, when um, Mongols can really spam a lot of horses, and especially now he's going to use horse horses as a rare resource. It's going to be making it so much better for him. He's got a nice whooping uh, uh, economy here. He's getting the upgrade. I should get the upgrade too because I, this should be expected. I finally go out on a raid. I, I know this is not a good path to raid because it's so in front, but I finally sent somebody for raid. Helen has not built a single barracks yet and he doesn't have to. And I do send a raid here and it's going to be interrupted. Now this is a big mistake from my side. I do not know about the horses and salt, and these are two rares that can change the outcome of this game. I I don't I have not discovered this patch, and this is where the two most important rares are being set. I finally get a barracks. I don't know if it's going to help me or much. I am also getting the knight upgrade because I am going to need that. I don't have a lot, but let's see if I can protect myself I'm also going to bribe one of these Ooh, and I am going to lose that okay, so that attack seems to help him and he's got a dock here he's also castling next to the yeah next to the horses My economy is in shatters. Meanwhile, Halen is going a science up. He'll uh, he can also go military up soon because he's got first. It's cheap for him. He just lost the senator. Oh, and he's gonna get another sky, another ruin. Oh man, ruins are really bad to get. Let's see what are the ruin bonus. Yeah, Helen has got a lot more ruins. Oh, actually, he just got a hundred more. But ew. initially, we had almost an equal uh, ruin income, but he did get more later on. And I, I finally put down my city here. I am way late. Helen has started vandalizing this dog he is not going to let me use this and this is a mis big mistake really I should have been I should be using this and that, that's a nice economy it looks like Helen will be up for gunpowder age very soon he is getting barracks finally He also has a five fish right here. Oh my god, I didn't I didn't know that. 
So that's a five fish and he deleted his um, dog before he could get that fifth fish. But that's still a good a good amount of fish to get. I, I have finally started raiding here, but I wonder if I'm gonna if this gonna make any change. Okay, so it's it is going to get some of these lumber camps. He's getting the Garak upgrade. And it's it's time for me to show my magic. The the thing that uh, yeah that Turks do siege everything the sea. So I have started building a siege, and looks like Helen has got a spy next to my siege. My army is busy taking care of the raid. I'm even though I have the knowledge, I'm still way behind in the researches because of a bad economy, and oh, I'm being bribed. So this is something I did not prepare for. I I'm not expecting a bribe right now. I have this uh, mine that I'm not using. I should be sending villagers there. So a big mistake I am making right now, of course, uh, apart from not raiding Helen throughout the game. So I have this, I have this uh, horse archer that's trying to harass him, but it's it's actually doing nothing. It's just uh, killing the university, and that's that's stupid. Meanwhile, Helen bribes another one of my trebuchet. Helen has a nice economy. But meanwhile, I am so I am so busy in the attacks and all the defense that I have forgotten to build up my economy. And oops, I just lost my siege, so I'm going to build another siege factory. Meanwhile, Helen is going to a gunpowder age. He's also getting a lot of units. That's a lot of units. Of course, he is using salt and horses and the cotton. And first, these are so the only rare resource left that would not help him in that would help him in getting a better economy or a, a better army would be sugar, which would reduce all his food costs by an additional ten percent. And he ages. I see that he has aged. He has got a nice army, but he's going to wait before attacking meanwhile i also have a decent army not the best but i am way behind for aging i'm, I'm still not ready to go to gunpowder age helen has got these two heavy uh, knights i think he's he might be sending them for raids soon I'm not using the the marble. Maybe I should be using marbles. And I have lost the control of this whole uh, lake since I'm not using the other lake. I don't have any fish income. And he's got a monarch. Monarch is the best thing to do when you when you are yeah when you are against. I mean, when you are playing with Mongols, you should by default just go Monarch because it gives you better cavalry. I just reached the Gunpowder Age, but it looks like it looks like I may not make it in time. That's a, a huge army. I did manage to raid horses and find horses right there. I wonder if I still know. Oh, I still don't know about the salt. And that's not that's not an economy that I that looks like uh, I, I may win with this all I can do right now is try to bribe his units may work may not and I am trying to use my siege if possible the siege are not that bad they can do some uh, splash damage so that's a yeah that's splash damage and um, it's it, it's good when you have there when the opponent has a heap of units uh, in a concentrated area and he has seized down my city and he takes my city I'm still struggling with economy I have some of the Janissaries which are the uh, special units for Durs but he has just too big an army. I, I managed to take out his monarch, but that's, that's just a lot. 
Meanwhile, I also have made a castle here. Maybe I should have made a castle right here, but I wanted to protect my back of the base from raiding, so that's why I decided to get it there. And I have no units left, even though he is fighting without um, the armor upgrade. And I, I call the GG. And he calls the GG as well. And this that was the game now, I wanted I wanted to uh, especially emphasize on the mistakes I made in this game so if you're a standard player or if you're if you're an advanced standard player if you're a newbie some things that you want to learn first you should always be um, advertent of your opponent civilization and expect a move so I was expecting raids to come but I was not fully ready to for it Another mistake was I had never utilized my econom economy to the fullest. I grew in senator and I never went, I, I never had a 150 economy. Then I did not utilize this lake and that that utilizing that lake could have changed the outcome of the whole game, but I did not. I let Helen get a dock on this side. I did not scout properly. I, I missed a, a very important patch of this game and let Helen use salt and horses throughout the game. I also did not raid Halen enough. I should have raided him more. I actually I just raided him once throughout this game, which is not enough. So these small mistakes really made it bad for me. And not to mention that I went civic first, while I should have gone commerce first because I had two lakes within my first city's reach, and that that would be enough enough uh, uh, reason to go for commerce first. So that was it. I would like to play Halen again soon uh, in a ranked game and try not to make the same mistakes. So next time I'll make sure my eco is up and I do sufficient amount of raids. And thanks for joining. This is a critical review of this game. Bye bye.